Yes, I had a very useful and productive meeting with the American Secretary of Defense, Mr. Paley, and uh, we coordinated uh, our action as well as our thinking, and uh, uh, the close consultation between AMPROFO and NATO uh, is uh, vital to ensure the success of our mission. Have you, you resolved make? your differences between yourselves and NATO on the appropriate <laughs> use of aircraft? I think uh, we have reached a uh, uh, good uh, convergence of uh, views between us and uh, Secretary uh, Perry, as well as myself, are totally satisfied. Do you think there will be tougher airstrikes now as a, as a result, rather than the token uh, attacks that have been made so far? I cannot comment on that. Yes. You met Mr. Shushak, no? Uh, no, uh, the, Mr. Shushak is meeting with uh, Mr. Perry right now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Mm -hmm. Mr. I just had a very interesting and constructive meeting with Mr. Hushok. I was on my way back to the United States from a defense minister's meeting in Spain. And at that defense minister's meeting, we agreed on a set of actions that could be taken to make the use of NATO air power more effective in support of the Emperor Force, the ground forces here, uh, the ground forces uh, in uh, Bosnia in particular. Now, I met this morning with Mr. Akashi, General Delaprel, and General Rose, uh, just giving them the background on the discussions we've had at the defense minister's meeting and getting their uh, reaction to that so that we could uh, move towards a more convergent position between uh, the UN and NATO. And I think it was a very successful meeting. Uh, I, I just have to add that uh, I informed uh, Secretary Perry that Croatia, Croatia agreed uh, that the air cover be extended to the AMPA zones and informed him about uh, what we know about the situation in, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, especially the development uh, of Federation. Um, we were talking about the meeting with Kashijem and... Mr. Perry, can you expect to see tougher airstrikes now to fight the tuna in particular, or are we going to stick with the uh, UN line as a very uh, limited and appropriate as it is response? I think we're going to see a judicious use of air power, which uh, I believe will be uh, more robust and will be more effective. 
Thank you very much. Thank you.